Hi, Chris Thompson here again from the Amiga Guide. Today I will be doing a slightly different type of video. I'm not doing a video about a game today. It's a book by, if I can pronounce this guy's name, E. E. ETH Van ETH Van der Eastern Camp and it's called Bare Metal Amiga Programming for OCS, ECS and AGA. So basically what this book is is it will teach you, you will actually need to know um, assembly language, which um, at the moment I don't, but I will learn this eventually. But basically this shows you how to program the Amiga. So the Amiga 500, the Amiga 500 plus and 600, and the AGA, uh, chips there on the 1200 and the CD32. So what it says on the back, the bump, is programming the bare metal means writing software that directly interacts with the system's hardware without the use of an operating system. So basically you don't have the overheads of and the bottlenecks of the hardware you just go of the hardware of the software of the operating system you're just going into the bare chips of the system the main reason for doing this is to increase efficiency as well as providing functionality that may otherwise not directly be supported by the operating system so you'll be able to do things that you can't do in like Amiga C or Amiga C++ or Amiga E or um, AMOS Pro or Blitz Basic or whatever. He goes, while the Amiga has a powerful multitasking operating system, most games and demos go the bare metal way. They are programmed in assembly language, also known as machine code. It doesn't say that on here, but also known as machine code and bypass the Amiga OS in order to communicate directly with the custom chips and other hardware to bring special effects and smooth animations. Um, if any of you that are watching have been into Amigas for a long time, which you probably will be if you've watched this, um, there's something called the copper, which you can bring up um, like fancy effects on the screen and whatnot and a lot of demos use these um, so it has for instance it'll have an overview um, like it says in the table of contents here it has an overview of the um, the 68000 processor the system chip, the uh, system memory, the custom chips, the video modes, um, the ha the audio. So you can basically go into all, like the deep system of the Amiga, rather than rather than programming through the operating system and going through it that route. Um, you can use a program, I think it's called uh, ASM1 or ASM1. There's also ASM2 as well, which are assemblers for for the Amiga. Um, I won't get like really, really into this because I'd be here all day, but. Um, yeah, so it shows you how to program in assembly code um, for 
the oh, so yeah, ECS and AGA chipsets. So if you're wanting to program the Amiga, this is probably, in fact, if you're a beginner at programming, this is probably not the way to go, to be fair, because this is quite heavy, um, heavy stuff in here. I've had a look through here and there's like, yeah, it goes into how to handle DMA and the blitter and yeah, and all this kind of thing. Um, I will have to learn how to do assembly before I can do anything in this. But it's a good book to have. There is actually another book by the same guy. That's a black book with the um, Amiga tick on the front. And I think it's called Programming Amiga OS or something. Um, so that, that kind of goes more the operating system route, whereas this is like the, the bare metal like directly on the processor and directly on the custom chips and whatnot. And this book cost me 15 pound 90 I think it was from Amazon. Um, so yeah I'll be giving this a um, good read. It goes into how to like you can handle the disc controller directly, you can handle the the joysticks directly with the CIA chips um, you can handle the processor the um, 68000 processor directly and obviously the 68020 on the um, AGA systems and uh, yeah so I can see this will be a good read. Thank you for watching.